Was it her intention to go in there and, and get some pasta that night? To drive to Wayland to get some pasta? While she talked to Mr. James from another inmate's account and made sure to tell Mr. Levant, oh, don't worry about this conversation. They'll never know what happened. What does that tell you about her intent and the direction she was getting from Mr. James? What we have here, Your Honor, is a clear showing that she went there that night at the direction of Mr. James, while talking to Mr. James, being told what to say by Mr. James from the jail, and they thought nobody would be the wiser. Mr. Helmer says that Ms. Burnett showed up out of the blue. Why would she go all the way up Wheeling? We had testimony from Mr. Levant that she was there every other week, with or without her James. If she were there to intimidate and threaten, and I can see that the audio does not sound good, but we have to think about it in the context of what Mr. Levant heard, which is not any part of what Mr. Quinn James was saying. This is not a preliminary examination for Quinn James. Ms. Burnett has no involvement in the underlying murder case, Your Honor. From his perspective, he was not even, he did not feel threatened or intimidated until somebody came up to him after she left and said, hey, that was weird, and he started to put the pieces together. I don't think she relayed the same tone or inflection or even the same message that Mr. James was trying to get across. Certainly he was, if we just redacted her statements and had Mr. James in the, I'd absolutely have no, no qualms of this case being bound over. I don't believe the people have introduced any evidence as to the effort.